Hello, welcome to Chapter Skip. I'm Chad. And I'm Newton. And we're bringing you this week's gaming news. And this week, we're kicking off with news about Payday 2. Sequel 2, 2011's Payday the Heist, that's brought to you by Overkill Software. Let's do this! So, for those of you who haven't played Payday the Heist, it's much like Point Break the Game. And for those of you who haven't seen Point Break, it's much like Payday the Heist. So, for those of you who are still unsure, it's much like Left 4 Dead with cops instead of zombies. It's a four-player co-op shooter where you take on the role as a career criminal, performing bank jobs, joy heists and drug trafficking. Your character stays persistent in an MMO-style upgrade system. There's four skill trees to upgrade, each relating to a set of character traits. The ghost skill tree will empower you with stealth kills and the ability to silently take out CCTV. The enforcer is your damage soaking tank with heavy weapons so you can easily take on a full frontal assault. The mastermind is the group's manipulator, getting civilians to revive you if you're down and forcing guards to fight for your team. The tech is the crew's geek and he'll be able to provide the team with sentry defence, silent drills to break into secure areas. Similar to Left 4 Dead's AI director, there's randomly generated situations such as metal detectors and guards being in different positions at different times. Thinking on your feet in each mission is going to be essential. The pacing of the game will be changed by the AI director, as required by the gamer's skill. Now it's not clear if the AI director in the game is going to be procedural like Left 4 Dead or is whether it's going to be chosen randomly at the start of the game. With over 30 missions, it's well over 5 times the size of the original payday. The game's due out this summer on Xbox 360, PC and PS3. Now I was a massive fan of the original payday, so it's great to see the sequel out on the Xbox 360 as well. It was only out on the PlayStation 3 and PC. So we'll get a lot more exposure this way. So in other news, Arcane Studios has announced its second batch of DLC for Dishonored, entitled The Knife of Dunwall. So this time around you take on the role of Dowd, who you may remember killed the Empress in the first game. And after a visit from the Outsider, he embarks on a search for redemption, key of which is somebody or something called Delilah. So to carry on with the supernatural element of the first game, players will be given new powers such as Void Gaze to search for runes and bone charms, Originals such as Blink returns, but players will also have the ability to summon assassins to assist Dowd in combat. So this time you're going to be able to explore more of Dunwall, such as the Legal District and the Slaughterhouses, which was the processing plants of the whales in the first game. As with the first game, you can approach the missions as you wish. A stealth assassin, maybe? Or a full frontal assault? It's up to you. Dowd's story concludes in the final ad on the Brigmore Witches. There's no word on when that will be released yet. So now we've got some news on Valve's Steambox. Kind, kind of. of. Now, official Valve news is always far and few between, and in the void of that news, XI3's Piston, its PC in a box for the living room, has uh, taken on the unofficial moniker of a Steam box. Pre-orders for the console have been huge, with President and Founder Jason Sullivan stating, Given the amount of awards, media attention and game interest the Piston console has generated since it was unveiled at CES 2013 in January, we've become seriously concerned that we will not be able to meet the demand for Piston consoles this year. Now, it wouldn't be unfair to argue the reason for this console's popularity was because of its apparent Valve-approved status. And it does seem because of this, Valve have distanced themselves from the Piston project. Yeah, Doug Lombardi recently spoke to Eurogamer and said, Valve began some exploratory work with XI3 last year, but currently has no involvement in any product of theirs. We're partly to blame for the Pistons popularity because of our hunger for information on a Valve console. There is no official news on an official Steam box yet. Thank you for watching Chapter Skip's Gaming News. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts about any of the topics we've spoken about today, leave us a comment below. Mastermind is the group's manipulator, getting civilians to revive you if you're incontent- <laughs> Do you want me to say incontent? <laughs> the Mastermind is the group's manipulator, getting a- uh, The Mastermind is the group's manipulator, getting civilians to revive you if you're incontent- Incontent- The Mastermind is the- The Mastermind is the group's manipulator, getting civilians to revive you if you're incontent- Incapacitated. <laughs> Do you want me? Do you want to say it? And I say incapacitated, yeah. and you carry on. <laughs> Incapacitated. <laughs>